This is Lefty calling the boss. This is Lefty calling the boss. Over. This is the boss. You was right, boss. There's millions of dollars worth of jewelry here. You should see this place. It looks like Sammy Davis Jr.'s mic table. <laughs> Never mind the small stuff. The big gems are in the vault. Go get them. Right, boss. Taking out the dynamite. Walking over to the vault. Placing the dynamite. Lighting the fuse. Piece of cake. <laughs> What's beautiful? Oh. Okay, I'm walking into the vault. Wait a minute. What's the matter, Lefty? There's somebody in the vault. Guy with bare feet in a kung fu outfit. No. No. Lefty. Lefty. Come in, Lefty. What's going on, boss? The guy with the bare feet. Every time I send somebody out on a job, he shows up and kung fu's him. Boys, you know what you gotta do. Yeah. yeah. Go get him. Lefty. 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 Toes of Death. <laughs> Starring Johnny Wayne as the nemesis of the underworld, who walks the earth in the guise of Dr. Wayne Lee, a mild-mannered podiatrist. <laughs> Take two odor eaters and call me in the morning. But at night, under cover of darkness, when dirty crooks stalk the city streets, he appears in his kung fu outfit and stalks the criminals. Your purse, madam. Thank you, young man. You're welcome. Uh, I'm terribly sorry, lady. Uh, have a good day. Both of you. Also starring Frank Schuster as Chief Inspector Bavese of the Metropolitan Police. All right, everybody. All right, would you settle down, please? And now we come to this uh, kung fu caper. And all I can tell you is some citizen who is obviously a master of the martial arts has been going around the city, catching criminals in the act, and kicking them into insensibility. <laughs> oh, uh, who is this guy? We don't know. However, we've questioned his victims, and our police artist has prepared a composite drawing of exactly what they saw. Anybody recognize him? This kung fu drama is respectfully dedicated to the legendary Bruce Lee and his cousin from Toronto, Wayne Lee. It is based on Wayne Lee's best-selling biography, The Mean Thief. Oh, 
Look, Commissioner, we're working on it. No, 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 no fingerprints, just footprints. All right. I don't know who this Kung Fu guy is, but his feet are killing me. Excuse me, Inspector. What do you want, Sergeant? Big Jim Finster's out here to see you. Big Jim Finster, the kingpin of crime? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, it's all right, Sergeant. What's on your mind, Finster? I demand protection. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. That nut that's going around beating up my boys. Lefty, Charlie, Louie. <laughs> Look at that. What are you beefing about? You got three free nose jobs. Very funny, Babesi. I want you to find that guy and lock him up. What for? Well, you're the law. You're supposed to protect us. <laughs> why, why should I protect you guys? You guys are crooks. Well, you're the dregs of society. Dregs have rights, too. <laughs> and they're in French. <laughs> Mister, as much as I hate you and your kind, I must admit you have a point. This citizen, whoever he is and however well-meaning he may be, is still breaking the law. And it's your duty to catch him and put him away. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> what a dilemma. I have to track down some overzealous citizen just to protect the scum of the earth. Ironic, ain't it? <laughs> okay, Babesi. You know what you gotta do. Let's go, boys. Always remember that although you may disapprove of the way we function in society, we are still citizens and entitled to protection under the constitution of this great land in which we live. <laughs> if this be treason, then make the most of it. Will you get out of here? <laughs> if there's one thing I can't stand, it's a literate crook. Now, what do you got, Melnick? At the last incident involving that Kung Fu guy, we picked up a print of a naked foot. So? So, the boys in the lab made this plaster cast. Our first clue. Find the foot that matches this, so we got him. It's not so easy, Inspector. Uh. Tonelli? I checked out that print with our book of known feet of criminals. <laughs> it's like a mug book, except it's feet. I know, I know. Oh, did you recognize anybody? No identification. No, that's great. Hey, here's an interesting piece of trivia. John Dillinger had corns. Well, I guess this is useless. Not exactly, Melnick. An expert could tell us a lot about this foot. An expert? You know, a foot doctor. They're trained. Why, from this alone, they could probably give us a pretty good description of the man we're looking for. The top podiatrist in this town is Dr. Wayne Lee. <laughs> Dr. Wayne Lee. Well, I'm going to have a talk with him right now before our kung fu friend strikes again. <laughs> we're working on it. Good morning, Dr. Wayne Lee, specializing in feet. What? Another sliver? Well, when can you come over? Okay. One o'clock, Jose Greco. <laughs> when do you get older, Mr. Houlihan? Soft feet are a common problem. Most doctors recommend mud. Mud? From the New Orleans Delta. Oh, all you have to do is soak your feet in it. It's uh, not painful, is it? Oh, no. It's a treat to beat your feet in the Mississippi mud. <laughs> <laughs> what the damn do they do? Lordy, how I'm telling you. Ah, Nurse Glorshine? Doctor? Oh, what are my appointments today? Well, at one o'clock, you have Jose Greco. More splinters? I'm afraid so. <laughs> Two o'clock, the Royal Winnipeg Ballet. Uh -huh. And at three, Lawrence Welk. Lawrence Welk? I've been expecting him. Um, after 50 years of a one, a two, a three, 
Something's got to give. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there is a police inspector on the way over to see you. Ah, probably flat feet. An occupational hazard. Uh, Dr. Wayne Lee? That is my name. You are the podiatrist? That is my game. Inspector Bavese, Police Department. Oh, how do you do? How do you... Oh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I'm... <clears throat> uh, Dr. Lee, uh, I'd like to talk with you. I have a problem. Ah, uh, take off your shoes and cough. <laughs> no, no, this is police business. Oh, then step into my office. Thank you. Nurse Floschheim? Yes, Dr. Hold all calls except emergencies. Yes, uh, what kind of emergency can a foot doctor have? Hmm, fallen arches. Well, fallen arches aren't an emergency. They are at McDonald's. <laughs> A little bit of podiatry humor there. <laughs> ah, good idea. Inspector, can I help you with some tea? Oh, no, thank you. Ah, a Chinese Danish? Oh, no, thanks. How about a small flight? <gasps> no, thank you. Thank you, thank you Nancy. Well, Inspector, what can I do for you? Dr. Lee, have you heard of this kung fu mystery man who's been going around the city beating up crooks? Kung fu mystery man? Uh -oh. Why, no, I haven't. Well, apparently he's a... Uh, He's a misguided citizen who's waging a one-man war against crime. Well, how can I help you? Well, we've managed to pick up a plaster cast of the suspect's foot. Uh-huh. Now, you're an expert, Doctor. What exactly can you tell us about that foot? Ah, very interesting. You know, the human foot is a remarkable piece of biological engineering. Do you know it contains 26 bones? Almost as many as a small piece of herring? <laughs> I would say this man is, uh, my height, uh -huh. uh, my weight, uh -huh. very clever, right. and extremely good-looking. <laughs> Why not? Well, that helps. It does. <laughs> Dr. Lee, this man must be apprehended. Now, can I call upon your professional assistance? But certainly, I would be most honored. And I suppose you have some sort of fee for this? Oh, yes, a very modest one. I usually charge $200 a day and expenses. But well, what are your expenses? $400 a day. <laughs> Is that a popular price? I like it. <laughs> well, Dr. Lee, I hereby deputize you as a volunteer to my department. Ah, and may I say, Doctor, glad to have you on our team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm terribly sorry, sir. Please forgive me, but uh, regrettably, I do not know my own strength. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot, Doctor. <clears throat> Your official badge. <laughs> that means volunteer detective. <laughs> I hope so. Well, Doctor, I'll be running along. Uh, we'll be in touch. I'm terribly sorry. I wish I could help you with that, but I just do feet. <laughs> <laughs> what an interesting development. The inspector has hired me to catch me. <laughs> it won't be easy. I'm too smart, even for me. <laughs> Nevertheless, my war against crime continues. Nurse Floschheim? Yes, Doctor. The Kung Fu Crusader is going to strike again. Any suggestions? Well, this might be interesting. <clears throat> Premier performance of the Grand Ballet de Paris? Why would criminals go there? Oh, read on. Aha! The richest woman in France will be there, Princess Jacqueline de Boumdier. And she will be wearing her famous diamond tiara. The famous tiara. And it's worth 60 million francs. Of course, who hasn't heard of the tiara Boumdier? <laughs> Why not? target for the criminal mind. And look at this. Inspector Bavese will also attend to provide personal protection for the princess. Looks like a long sketch. <laughs> but I'll be there waiting for them in my Kung Fu costumes. Oh, Doctor, do be careful. 
You know how I feel about you. <laughs> oh, nurse. Oh! I'm, I'm terribly sorry, nurse. I'm terribly sorry, nurse. I forgot I'm not only ten toes of death, but five fingers of fury. Don't go away. We'll return in a moment with Act Two of our Kung Fu drama. Oh, good. I'll change during the commercial. <clears throat> I'll get a kick out of you. <laughs> it is opening night at the ballet, and as Swan Lake is being performed on stage at Roy McMurtry Hall, in the royal box, guarded personally by Chief Inspector Bavese, is Princess Jacqueline de Boumdier and her famous tiara. Lovely first act, Inspector. Oh, it certainly was. It was most kind of you to protect me this evening. Oh, it's an honor, Your Highness. Well, with you here, nobody would dare to try and steal this tiara. Why, this place is so secure, not even a mouse could get in. Of course, three men in ski masks might have a chance. All right, Papa. Hand over the gun. Now give us the tiara, sister. Now nobody moves for ten minutes. Hello. in a Kung Fu outfit just gave me this. He's here. Now we've got him. <laughs> well, he couldn't have gone that way. I've got men posted there. There's only one way he could have gone. That box. And now he keep me covered. Check. <laughs> Dr. Lee, you were expecting Seiji Ozawa? Uh, no, thanks. You uh, know my nurse, don't you? Oh, of course. Mm. Hello, Inspector. <laughs> Doctor, what are you doing here? Oh, I love the ballet. A uh, professional interest. Feet, you know. His brother is a specialist. He's an opera fan. Ear, nose, and throat. But, but have you been here at the ballet all evening? Oh, yes. Well, you didn't happen to see a man in a kung fu outfit. No, just girls in tutus and boys in tights. <laughs> and one here, though, who shot a swan with a crossbow? Johnny, <laughs> I don't mean on the stage. Something funny just happened in the next box. Well, what are we doing here? This is nothing. <laughs> well, I, uh, I, I guess he got away. I'll, I'll keep in touch, Doctor. Once again, Kung Fu triumphs over crime. Yes. And you, my dear nurse, have been most helpful. Doctor. Oh, nurse. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but for being a good sport, here's a ten toes of death t-shirt. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? Some guy is running around the city streets, kung fuing everybody, and you guys haven't come up with one single clue. We're well, trying, 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 trying. You call yourselves officers of the law? Why, you couldn't find Dolly Parton in a telephone booth. <laughs> I want you guys to hit the streets and come up with something. Now move us. All, All right, right, come on, let's get going. All right, we're coming. Inspector. Yeah. 
Guess who's got a black belt? Melnick, it's all beginning to add up. Sergeant Goldberg! Goldberg, I believe we've uncovered our mystery man. Now, I'm going down to have a chat with him. I want you to provide backup. Okay, Inspector. But be careful. He's a dangerous lady with his bunny kung fu. <laughs> I'll be careful. Oh, and, uh, by the way, Goldberg... I Inspector. Clever disguise. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Wayne Lee, specializing in feet. And whiplash. <laughs> I'm leaving now, nurse. On my way to the tennis courts. People tell me I look like Jimmy Connors. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello, Dr. Lee. Hello, Inspector. You look... Starry-eyed and vaguely discontented. I'd like to have a talk with you. Certainly, uh, walk this way. And incidentally, if you do walk this way, I can fix it. <laughs> uh, may I sit down, doctor? Certainly. Take a load off your metatarsals. <laughs> Dr. Lee, I'd like to ask you uh, a few questions. <laughs> Doctor, there's something funny about you. Oh, I sincerely hope so. I don't mean that. I just found out that you have a black belt. That's true. I use it to hold up my gray slack. I also have Bruce's fingers. Oh, that's very good into with me, Doctor. I have a very strong suspicion that you have been pulling my leg. Oh, no, that is chiropractor's work. I'm a doctor. I pull your foot. Don't play games with me. Are you or are you not the mystery man that's been beating up crooks in this city? I am not. You are too. I am not. Very well, Inspector. You have discovered my secret. I am indeed the man you are looking for. I think I actually hired you to help me find you. Well, I helped you, didn't I? I told you the one you were looking for was my height, my weight. Yes, but you also said he was very handsome and intelligent. You see, I wasn't lying. Why? Why did you do it? Why? To bring peace and tranquility to a troubled city. With violence? Oh, you do not understand the essence of Kung Fu. It is being at one with the universe. It is being in harmony with nature. It is the love of humanity. But kicking people in the face. That too. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dr. Lee, but I'm placing you under arrest. You cannot take the law into your own feet. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> All right, Doctor, you're coming with me. Hold it. What do you want, Fenster? He's mine. This man is in my custody. Sorry, Inspector, you had your chance. Louie, take the doctor out to the car and tie him up. Yeah. Fenster, you're not going to get away with this. <laughs> Who's going to stop me? In one hour, your kung fu friend will be at the bottom of the bay, wearing cement jogging shoes. <laughs> you are a contemptible murderer. It's a little All done, boss. He's in the back of the car, and I tied his hands behind his back. His hands? What about his feet? His feet? I didn't tie his feet. Ten toes of death, and you didn't tie his feet? <laughs> Holds the death. Wayne Lee is alive and kicking. <laughs> oh, you want to fight it out here? Fine. How would you like six bullets in your belly? How would you like ten toes up your nose? <laughs> okay, boys. Get him. Oh. 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 
taken care of, thanks to Dr. Lee. Doctor, you've done our city a great service, and we thank you. <laughs> I didn't even squeeze. Doctor, do we have your assurance that you will never act the role of a vigilante again? You have my word as a gentleman and a podiatrist. <laughs> then we, the police force, salute you. And I salute you. Uh, nurse, would you take care of them, please? All right, man, let's go. I like a happy ending, don't you? Thank mm -hmm. you. 